it's not surprising that the number one resource to keep your organization safe from cyber attacks is your employees. Your employees are your main line of defense against hackers. Cyber attacks can destroy your business. It's important to invest in your best line of defense, your employees. Engaging your employees with education, while protecting their mobile devices and endpoints, could be the most important piece of your security strategy. Since an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, at Cybrian, we always recommend having the right people, products, and processes in place to combat hackers. Our all-in-one cybersecurity service, Pretect, has all the tools you need to maintain a positive security posture. Here are some best practices to keep your employees engaged, to keep your organization safe from cyber attacks. BYOD Policies Corporate infrastructures have been venturing into the BYOD, bring your own device, world for years often without knowing it. Conditional restrictions often are not in place to prevent access to corporate data such as email, SharePoint, calendaring, corporate contacts, etc. And even in cases, where conditional restrictions may exist, the usage of mobile threat defense software may not be present, or utilized on the device. However, companies will often stringently safeguard their corporate laptops and desktops with MDR solutions, SIEM agents, and vulnerability management solutions. The duality in approaches to BYOD devices versus corporate managed is perplexing, due to the fact that they often can access the same confidential data, albeit without similar safeguards. Consider a mobile risk assessment, to get a baseline understanding of the risk, facing your mobile users. Mobile devices present a uniquely challenging landscape, for security professionals and businesses alike. Cybrian's mobile security assessment considers every avenue and aspect in which risk may present itself, and provides recommendations to address these challenges. Employee Security Awareness With a little training, and a lot of awareness, you and your employees can keep your organization safe from cyber attacks, and prevent thieves from accessing your financial data, customer records, and proprietary information. Drill yourself and your employees in the following practices, and you will take a giant leap forward in protecting your company. All of these guidelines are actionable, without buying any additional software. Make it clear that you are practicing these guidelines yourself, and you are likely to get buy-in on keeping information safe. Passwords on work computers. Passwords are your greatest point of vulnerability. If a malicious person obtains a password, your entire network is at risk. Here are some best practices for passwords. Keep your passwords to yourself. Don't share them with coworkers, family, or friends. Do not use the same passwords for work and personal email accounts. Use passwords that no one could guess, but that you can remember easily. Never write them down and don't send them in an email. If you notice unusual activity or suspect your password is no longer secure, change it immediately. Change your passwords every three months, even if you don't notice any suspicious activity. Techniques for creating exceptional passwords. A password should contain eight characters or more, and should use special characters, that are neither letters nor numbers, such as exclamation points. Use a passphrase instead of a password. Select a phrase that you can remember, such as, I never learned how to swim. Add punctuation that you can remember as well. Replace words that describe numbers with the actual numeral. I was seven when I first rode a horse. Create acronyms. Take the first letter of the words in a phrase to make a password. I was seven when I first rode a horse becomes IWSWIFRIH. Try secret codes. Create your own rules, such as adding the dollar sign to numbers, or following capital letters with a percent sign. This example might look like this, I percent never went to public school until I percent was $5. This is just an example. Create rules you can remember. Security on mobile devices. If you use a smartphone or tablet to access your work files and services, use passwords on these mobile devices and preferable two-factor authentication. Mobile devices have become a hot topic regarding how to keep your organization safe from cyber attacks. Not only are mobile devices susceptible to being lost or stolen, but we also tend to click on more phishing attempts on our mobiles versus our employer-owned devices. Use different passwords on mobile devices than you use on laptops or computers. Check your device's security or setting features to see if you have the ability to use any of the following. 
Lock or timeout, set the amount of time you want for locking out any user. This is a good safeguard for those times when the device sits idle such as when it has been lost or stolen. Passcode for unlock, require a password to unlock the mobile device. Fingerprint reader, some phones and tablets offer fingerprint recognition. Using this option helps prevent access even if someone has stolen your password. Data erase, set your device to erase all data after a predetermined number of login attempts. Remote locate and wipe, some mobile units not only allow you to locate them through GPS, global positioning systems, they also allow you to erase all data using a remote computer. Email best practices. Staying alert when handling email can prevent many cybersecurity breakdowns. Make sure your employees follow these best practices regarding email. Log out of your email account when you are not using it. Leaving it open and unattended creates opportunities for hackers. If you have the ability to create your own email address, make it complex. Tell someone about any suspicions you have regarding email hacking, even if you are not sure. From time to time, select new security questions. Don't put your password anywhere on the internet, including cloud services. Keep password clues to yourself. Sharing clues to your password can be as dangerous as sharing your password. Treat attachments from unknown senders as off-limits. Look at the list of people receiving your email when you use Reply All. Any suspicious addresses could be someone trying to get your email address. Use a junk email account to sign up for special offers. Don't give out your work email address to random sites. Report spam, don't respond to it. Contacting a spammer can make you vulnerable and get you on a list of people they regularly contact. Install the updated versions of your email program and browser. The latest versions often have new security features built in. Find out more at cyberient.com.